I've been doing this now for 13 and a half years. It'll be 14 years by the time I turn over the CEO. I, can't that. I think 14 years. Okay, that's a long time. I think you know. <laughs> I, I know it's certainly longer than the average Fortune 500 CEO. That's a fact. <laughs> second thoughts? Uh, no second so thoughts. <laughs> no, no, no second thoughts. It also, Not, also means you don't have to be the one to close all the stores yourself, which is a nice thing. You know, here's the thing. I'm going to be here, and 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 my heart is going to be here when I'm not even physically here. I mean, this is a company that you know that has been so important to, to me personally, and that's why, frankly, we're not waiting around to to do these to make these big changes. I want to do them while I'm here. I want to help us position the company for my successor, Jeff Gannett, who's a fantastic guy, is going to do great things for our company. I, I want that. I want him to be in a position where he can just lift off, as opposed to having to deal with issues and try to get all that behind us. There's been some criticism that some of Macy's problems have not. Not necessarily been cyclical, but structural. But this last quarter, every month sales got better, month by month. So, do you think this is a changing of the tide? Is is it getting better? Well, certainly it is. I mean, obviously, we, you know, you, you just said it, but but May was better than the first quarter. By the way, the first quarter was challenging because we were all retailers that, that had too much inventory going into the fourth quarter. You may not remember, I do, it was 74 <laughs> degrees in New York City uh, it's on Christmas Eve. Okay, I remember that. And so we all had too much inventory, and so we spent the first quarter clearing that out and getting it. We're, we're now in good shape. So May was better than the first quarter. June was better than May. July was, was, was much better than, than June. So it was consistently getting better, and it's definitely related to the, the investments that we made after our, our, our mom 2.0 strategy was thought through in early January about how we're going to respond to the changing consumer. You're making a lot of changes in the new initiatives at, at Macy's. So what is the most important? Is it backstage? Is it the real estate transactions? Is it the digital infusions into the stores? You know, it's never one thing, Courtney. It's never just one thing. So you, you have to be able to walk and chew gum in this business. And in our, and in our case, you know, I think the biggest thing, what, what, what we did was we, we decided to invest in people and putting more people back on the sales floor in advance of the of the performance of the business so it was a bet it, because the most exp in, in a retail business like ours with so many stores the biggest expense you have is your sales force on your on your floors and so investing you know millions and millions and millions of dollars back into that business before the business turned was the biggest bet that we placed and we placed that in in the second quarter beginning of the second quarter that to me because I'm I'm watching our what we call our magic scores which is our customer service scores every single month now improving going in the right direction and I think that has had the biggest positive impact hey, and by having a hundred fewer stores we'll be able to again intensify mm -hmm. that that talent back into the remaining stores Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.